Hi, this is Yolanda Van Veen, and in this segment, we're going to learn all about identifying flower bulbs. There's so many types of flower bulbs in the world. There's thousands of varieties, but they all follow the same type of rules. So there's roots, there's tubers, there's corms, and a bulb definition is any plant that goes dormant for any period of time. So any bulb that still stays alive once it dies back because it's got the root under the ground is considered a bulb. So for example, agapanthus is considered a bulb in Oregon because it dies back in the winter. But in California, it's not because it's green all winter long. So a bulb is any plant that goes dormant. And let's show a, a few varieties. So rhizomes are these tube type bulbs. These are um, bearded iris. So they're a tuber. But iris also come in bulb form where they look just like a Hershey's Kiss candy. So they can still be a Dutch iris if they look like a Hershey's Kiss candy or they can be this bearded iris if they look like a tube. Then there's different types of roots. These are daylilies. So there's root stalk. So they have these big node type, uh, big clumps. And so as long as you've got some stem and some bulb, it will grow again. So these, any bulb that's kind of a root or a tuber like that um, is probably a daylily. And if they're the bigger tubers, then it's a dahlia. It looks just like that, but with big tubes. Now lilies look just like garlic. So if you've got clove type bulbs, then they're probably going to be lilies. And there's other types of plants that look kind of like that too. But in the end, these are Casablanca big white lilies. And you can tell that they look um, just like a clove. Now this is a cyclamen, a Neapolitanum. These are hardy in the northwest, hardy to zones, I bet six or seven even. And they're just a big clump, a big like tube. I think there's a like a begonia, so they're a tuber. And you can break them apart in any way. They're kind of hard to break. But even that will give you two plants. There's so many different types of flower bulbs. And if you have a bulb and you can't identify it, you can always kind of describe it and go on to Google and describe what it looks like and say root or bulb. And all these pictures will come up and maybe you can figure it out. Or bring it to a master gardener booth at any garden show or farmer's market or call your extension agent. A lot of times they can help you too. Okay. So enjoy your flower bulbs. And remember, you don't have to know the names of all your flowers to enjoy them.